Hey, so it's been some time since I last posted a video. Kind of ran out of things to post. I don't get how those people can keep posting, but I have another update I can show you. I'll probably post less from now on because my system is still, well right now I'm at a standstill you can say. I'm waiting to get some bigger tanks like this you can see behind me. I want to get ones that are six foot round by six foot high to put in this 18 foot spot I have here. Three different ones which are like about a thousand gallons. But I'm trying to find them on Craigslist but buying them new is quite expensive. But what I want to show you today is actually I put my fish back in my system. You can see that. There's the bluegill, some hybrid carp, and I did put a koi in there, but you can see that. So I'll show you what I did, basically. So here you can see the fish. The sides and the bottom have algae on it, but the water is still clear. It just makes it look darker because of that. But you can see I have different fish in here with some bluegill. So they're looking fine. It's been two weeks since I put them in here. It's a sturgeon down there and a koi but yeah it's been two weeks since i put them in here and they're looking good there's nothing up with them so it seems like the system can be back up and running start to plant some plants soon hopefully when i do a water test but you can see that so basically what i did actually is i had them in here for some time and then a week before i put them or two weeks two weeks before i put them in there I basically had them in here for a week and then I siphoned water from my aquaponic system into here slowly so they can get used to that so I had them there for a week so they looked fine in the aquaponic water and then I put them into there so that is the safest option to introduce fish into your new system so that's what I'll do from now on whenever I get new fish is keep them in something like this or smaller depending on how many fish I have with water from the aquaponic system that way for like one or two weeks probably two weeks when i get new fish because i don't want anything to happen but i'll do that here i have my fish that got sick but they're better now so it's about time i add them to my aquaponic system so what i'll first do is actually take water from my aquaponic system and put it in here for like a week to see how they do if there's anything still left in the system itself but i'll do that and see how it goes so i'm going to use the typical aquarium siphon Okay, I have the water siphoning to here. So you can see down there. But what I want to do is actually maybe see if I can tie a kind of knot in here so the water goes slow. So I want the water to enter this fish tub slowly. So now I have it zip tied off. And you can see I have it there. And there's a kink in the hose. And now the water is coming out slower than before. So that allows them to acclimate to the same temperatures, differences that are in my aquaponic system easier. So you can see how I'm doing that. And doing that is very helpful when you introduce new fish because if they do get some sickness, you can quarantine them and not spread it into the rest of the aquaponics system. So that is what I will do from now on since when I first, or when I did get new bluegill, I had catfish already in my system, then I got bluegill and then I added them and then a disease, ha disease happened as you saw in a previous post, but you can see that now I have them in there again. Lost quite a few fish, but I'm gonna do it differently now. As I mentioned, whenever I get new fish, take some aquaponic water, put them in a separate aquarium, and see how they go for like one or two weeks. So that is that. Down here, I also have some large mouth bass. There's like six in here. That's my sump tank. Well, there you have it. That's just an update where I am right now. I introduced my fish in, so they look fine for two weeks. So far, if anything changes, I will let you know or keep you posted. And if you guys have any ideas on where I can get like cylindrical tanks that are six feet diameter by six feet high for a cheaper price, because when I look online, it comes to around 3000 for that thing with the delivery, so that's quite a bit. So if you guys know a cheaper place or anything else, just leave a comment below. But yes, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions on what videos I should make or what you want to see in my system, please leave them below. That will help me out. But otherwise, you have a good week. Thank you for watching.